Radio. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a timer going down. You can see as it runs down. You can probably see that, can you? Yes, yes, I do. Okay, don't think you've got to cut off exactly when it gets to the 45. That's just to keep us on track and make sure that we're going okay, all right? Okay, perfect. So, so, no I, won't, so I won't disappear. I won't self-detonate when it hits zero, when the counter hits zero. <laughs> it's not that at all. Okay, uh, okay. Perhaps, you have, perhaps you have a bar in 45 minutes that you need to look at. Oh, or something. Yeah, yeah no, no, we'll be okay. Right, okay, <laughs> so let's, um, first off, so you're here for your first coaching call. Okay, which is quite an important call for us to, to go through because we want to look at what's holding you up maybe or things you're getting confused with or things you don't really yep. understand. Now, I've got yep. your PDF from you, um, which you sent over, which was, sorry, not your PDF, your questions you sent over, um, yep. which I've got. And uh, I've got those on screen now. I can actually look at those and see them now. Has anything changed since, since then? Do you feel um, you've learned more since then? Um, yeah, so I took a chance during this weekend to uh, spend more time on, on all of this. Um, I guess that in, that video that you sent, you sent a link to a video with uh, a session with Rick, the guy yes. from South Africa. Yeah, uh, I think that was quite to the point because I love it because <laughs> uh, one of the one of the um, dabs I had was how to use these two tools. The, the I call it the white tool and the, and the yellow tool. Okay. Um, uh, so I think I got it now. Uh, we don't use them until we really understand what's going on. Only when we got confirmation, we need to start using them. Yes. I think I got a little confused before, uh, but that's fine. Um, so uh, I've been then uh, after that. I think pretty much uh, yesterday um, using a lot of in the, uh, the simulator. Yeah. Um, and 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 I've been encountering a lot of issues in the way I'm doing things. Not okay. with the tool. I think the way I'm doing things. Okay. Uh, and because I think their challenge is. And the whole thing changes every all the time. So um, I, I found myself again falling into charts, uh, yeah. what things look like, and this go up, this go down, and uh, and and then I, I also um, when I thought I got it right, um, I think I, one of the issues I, I see is that I, I there are, there is always like well, not always, but sometimes there is like another um, lack of manipulation. As I call it, yeah. I don't know, but yeah. it's something. It looks like it, there was a stop take, then uh, there is a jump bar. Great! I go after the the, the retrace. Sometimes the retrace is not, doesn't go all the all the way up, and then I miss it. So, but uh, and then I, I I place the tray, and and sometimes it goes up, and it goes up again, down, and then and then it starts. So um, so it's like I, I feel like um, it's, it's it's I don't I don't feel safe, do you know, uh, uh, at the moment. But I guess it's probably because I'm not I doing something wrong. I'm just trying to understand the, the idea, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's well, a little bit of that feel. Well, okay, so you're not really doing anything wrong. So, you know, this, the simulator is the most powerful tool we have. To, you know, it, it, there's nothing more powerful than that to, to, than to train you. I get a lot of questions about uh, what does this bar mean and how is this bar generated and how is a belief bar generated? Um, and there are not really questions that are important. It doesn't matter what they are. It doesn't matter um how they're constructed the only thing that matters is that we understand them so when we're going through in a simulator and we're running that simulator the whole idea of coming to pat is to use the simulator to teach you how to make money it's not to teach you to recognize patterns it's not to teach you to uh, rec to re even really work out how pat works it's, it's not not that at all it's just for you to focus on that and most people don't really appreciate the simulator of what it's ultimately for. They think it's just to get used to the software, just to get used to how things work. And it's just not for that at all. It is literally like to strap you in like the pilot is in the simulator and you learn how to fly the aircraft. The simulator is purely designed to teach you how to make money. That, that's it. Okay, and we are actually making some updates on that uh, on that simulator very soon to put in some money management and stuff like that as well. But forget about that now because that's just something that's going to not make things easier, but it's going to track things better for you. Um, and we'll be able to help you more. Or I'll be able to help you more once I have more more details of what you're doing. Okay, so the main thing: what are you doing when you go to your simulator? Okay, what's the first thing you do? So you put on your simulator. What what are you doing? Um, so well, I, I started. So I've been choosing, um, mo I think mostly um, a, a particular pair. I, I, I don't know why I thought probably getting used to one is different. That's uh, okay. Going yeah, that's, that's a good thing. Okay. So I've been using GBP USD, um, and I selected the forty-five and fifteen minutes chart. Um, mm -hmm. 
and and I'm and then I played well. I, I choose a random date, I think within the last year, and then I just played. Um, I think I I'm doing like a four, five days, so I try to do a week. Although sometimes it doesn't start on a Monday, so but I go through five days. Yeah. Um, and and that's it. And then I let it run, and I, until I finish that period. Okay. Um, what I'd like you so, to do is to take that out to thirty days. 30 okay. days so go out to 30 days so you're getting a month's uh, a month's training now okay it's important to remember as well with the simulator that it's actual real it's real data it's real moves it's real things that occurred in 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 real time it's it's all there exactly as you see it now of course with the simulator we massively speed things up to cycle us through to get us through so we can look at them we you can run a simulation trading as if you were sitting in front of your and this is the thing as if you were sitting in front of your computer for a month, it would take you all that month to watch all that data. Now with the simulator, mm -hmm. you can you can literally have a month's training in 20 minutes, in, in, in half an hour. You can sit there for half an hour and get a month's training. And what you're doing is, you're training your brain to recognize the structure, not the, not the pattern. You, there will, there's a certain amount of a pattern, there's a certain amount of form that you will lock onto. But what you've got to do is that when that form pops up and you think, oh, that, that looks like a stop take, you've then got to quickly check yourself and say, hang on a minute, where is the content that made that a stop take? Okay, so by looking at that one particular thing, you say, okay, your brain says, well, stop, that's a stop take there. You would need then to go back and say, where did that stop take come from? What caused it? If you can find something that caused the stop take, now you're onto something. Okay, so now you mm -hmm. now you can say, okay, this stop take has got some substance underneath it. it it's 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 validated as meaning something. Now you can plan a trade accordingly. So you from then you'd go and and you'd you'd run it forward a bit more. You'd press your start button again and the simulation would start again. You'd be looking now for that jump bar. Now, so if you're just looking for a jump bar, it, you're going to struggle with the simulator because you'd struggle with it in real life because the simulator is real life. But once, you, but if you've seen that jump bar now, you've already validated the stop take because you went back and checked it out. Now the stop, now the jump bar means something and it's relative to the trade you want to take. And now you can mm -hmm. take that trade. So, mm -hmm. so every time you see something that says, oh, okay, I want, to, I want to buy the market now or I want to sell the market now, you need to stop at that point. You need to look back in the chart and say, what is the foundation of what I've just seen? Mm -hmm. If you cannot find a foundation, it is highly likely to be in a manipulation. Yeah. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. that's the difference between taking a trade and thinking oh I've got oh there's a jump bar I'm going to buy the market and jumping straight into the simulator and then watching it mm -hmm. and then as, and then not watching it now another thing is that when you um, because the simulator is so real when you click the buy button or the sell button and then you see the market moving away you'll perhaps experience this it's very easy to get caught up then in the numbers flashing away mm -hmm. uh, you're making money losing money making money losing money making money losing. now what happens at that point is because you're smiling i can tell what happens at that point mm -hmm. is that your brain takes a holiday from the chart and goes off into looking at the money accumulating okay or, mm -hmm. or, or, or being taken away now mm -hmm. at this point you're not learning anything mm -hmm. okay you, you you've switched off you've become emotional about what you're doing and, and you know this, mm -hmm. this happens a lot in real trading and of course it happens in the simulator because the simulator is real real stuff so you need to distance yourself from that. So get rid of that screen, and you can do it. That if you if you minimise the screen, it disappears. And when it disappears, you can't see the flashing prices anymore. You can't see making money a lot. You you're actually drawn back to focus on the chart. Okay, so now you're learning again, all right? Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. now you're gonna now you're thinking to yourself, not how much money am I making on the simulator, or how much money am I losing on the simulator. You're thinking, okay, where is the market going? and what is it doing okay mm -hmm. and now you can then plan your exit because now you can stop the chart you can now put on your 90 pips tool and you can map where you're going to get out of the market mm -hmm. and then if you like you can put you know, and then once you've got that in and once you've got that you know where you've got it in your mind you've written it down okay that's where i'm getting out of the market you can then put the prices back on and you can watch the prices run up and you know make the trade a success or you can close that also in hind uh, sorry 
in, in reverse, you're also saying, okay, if this trade doesn't work out, where am I going to get out? Okay, so you're, mm -hmm. so you're watching that too on there. So the idea mm -hmm. is getting rid of that uh, emotional overlay uh, and sticking back on, back on the chart. Now, mm -hmm. what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pull up the pat chart and um, yep. we're just going to have a look at something because I, I want to just run through um, a sort of a, a validation process with you. So you can say, okay, well, this is something I want to pay attention to. Okay, so we're going to yep. call that up and we'll have a look at that now. And I should be able to press a magic button on here. And there you go. That should Perfect. appear the pat chart. Now, I'll just, um, you've been doing the, Euro, uh, the GBP, haven't you? So yes, I do. Let's just call that up. That should be full size now, so you can see that. Yep, I do. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of the lines on here. So there's nothing on here. Actually, I'll just I will just leave that one on there because I was doing this yesterday. I was just having a look at this yesterday, uh, this market. Um, these uh, lines that I've set up here. You understand how to put those on? Yes, I do. Uh, okay. Do you also understand that you've got this ability to add an alert? Um, yeah, so the, I saw it in the video, I haven't tried yet. Okay, so basically I'll just click on that so we can just show you. So that window pops up and then you can put an alert in here. So alert me if the current price gets closer than zero, you would then knock this up to how many pips you want. You might say five <laughs> pips, okay? Yep. And the near the price level, the beauty of putting an alert on this way, the price level you'll see in there is, uh, I'm looking at a long screen away, it's uh, 28.92 I believe. You'll see that is the same price that's in the, in the green box, uh, sorry, in the box of the line I've just put on, yeah? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. So that finds it for you. Now, in the description here, if you just click on it, it just puts a standard description in here. Now, this is um, okay if you just want something quick, but it's much better if you put something in here um, that is descriptive of why you originally set this price up. So I'm going to cancel, yeah. I'm going to cancel this and I'm going to go over to here and there's a little X down here. You can exit that window and get rid of it. Now, I'll give you an example of what you might like to do. Now, I'd actually got this uh, chart set up so I could see the market was definitely in an uptrend. We can see this yeah. on here. So I'd be looking there for a retrace uh, of this coming through here. So that's what I'd be looking for to enter on. Now, as I can see the market's in an uptrend, I see the market comes down here and it comes down on uh, good volume. You see there's a blue bar there as well. So there's mm -hmm. an increase in activity. But of course, the market gets immediately straight back in and goes back into an up move. Okay, so mm -hmm. a good sign of strength. And this is a low point here, I can see. So what I did was I just put my um, uh, alert bar on here now. You can see this mm -hmm. on that level there. Mm -hmm. Now I can then, what I'll first do is I'll just lock that, but then I can go to add an alert and I keep this anywhere between three to five pips. I like to have five pips. Um, I might. It depends on how volatile the market is, but five pips is generally a good uh, a good thing on there. And then what mm -hmm. I'll, I'll write in here, I'll get rid of this, right, and I will wrong keyboard, wrong keyboard. There we go. <laughs> okay. So what I'll write, in, I'm not going to actually type in there because my keyboard is over is way out is almost out of reach. I'm I'm bringing a, another screen across here from another computer. So, yep. but what I will write, I'll give you an idea is, I'll just get rid of that window so you can see. So this bar here, I'll click on that and I'll say, okay, well, this bar was, uh, I've got the date on it, okay? And yep. uh, I can see the low on it on there. Now, what I want to write in there is something like, uh, this was a retrace on March the 6th, uh, and, the, mm -hmm. and, the, and, the, and I'd put the details from this, bu this bar in here. And then I would mm -hmm. just, when I put that in then, I would forget about that window. I'll just forget about it. It wouldn't matter. And now, now, really powerful thing here. If I delete this, okay, that alert mm -hmm. is still in there. Okay. All right. Now, the reason we do that is because you might want to set up several alerts, but you don't want these lines left all over your chart. Now, yeah. what will happen is this. When the market comes back down, I'll put that line back on now so we can see. Yeah. When the market comes back down to here, Pat Software is going to pop an alert up on the screen. Mm -hmm. And it is going to tell you exactly what you wrote in that box in the first place. So you haven't, mm -hmm. got, to, you haven't got to think about why this is happening. Okay? Mm -hmm. You expected mm -hmm. this to happen. 
you've now mm -hmm. got a message to remind you so in other words you put it in because you might put things in the market was uh, was is strong uh, the market trend is up um, you know the the the, uh, the market jumped away from this bar here and uh, the you know so when this pops up you've got all this information do you see now when the market then go look you see that see the power comes straight out of here mm -hmm. okay yep. now would you feel safe taking a trade out of there well you would wouldn't you because you'd got all that foundation you'd built up well actually you'd feel quite mm -hmm. you'd feel quite safe taking a trade immediately it come away from here I mean this is a jump bar this jump bar here actually clears the preceding two belief bars here so here, yes. here, so here's your entry point here straight away into there and so you can buy into that market okay so let's just have a look on the journey of that and Pat automatically snapped on that because that's where I was working okay and you can see so from here the market indeed goes on up and it's a bit higher than that now but there's the, there's your exit point on here okay yep. now the market did come back down uh, through this point here it didn't come back down to where your um because you stop your stop loss would be under here so it would be under uh, the the low of that bar yes or? yes because this yeah. is where you entered from yes. okay you know a lot of traders will say um you know wh whereabouts are you putting stops or, or or why are you uh, putting a stop here were you able to put a stop so close i'm sorry no i will just cut back to uh, to the patch chart there so is on, once the market jumps away from here and you're entered into here you can put a stop directly under this point here and it can be literally directly under it and like I say people will say okay well, why, could, why are you using such a small stop well because we are planning our trades where we're going we plan our exit uh, sorry our entry we're planning our exit okay and we we don't expect the market to go the other way if the market comes down from there we simply do not want to be in that trade okay yeah it's just yeah. It, it's just not going to happen we don't want to be in there correct so this coming week, I don't know what's gone wrong with our counter. What's that one with our counter? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, it just carried on. It never carried on, did it? You've got another 45 minutes. Well, not really, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. no. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> what happened? Okay, no worries. Okay, so, um, so that's what can, I want can, you to do. I... That's what I want you to do now with your simulator. Is what we've just done there on Pat there. That's what I want you to do uh, with your simulator. Because you can also set up your alerts on there as well. So one of, one of the mistakes I think, or one of the things I haven't been looking at, is perhaps of the of the big picture. I, I've been focusing on that particular day, yes. trying to identify the, the accumulation and then see what what happened from there, without perhaps looking back at what was. Yeah. yeah. In this example, you're looking back a few, probably a few days back, yeah. um, and and you uh, you think there may be a retrace in that uptrend, uh, and uh, and then is when you, when you get that. Uh, yeah, yeah, that trade when you see the this sign, I would say. That's or, it. Uh, yeah, yeah, well, the sign is the the thing you're looking, and that's why I want you to go and do your simulations over thirty four over thirty days, so that you're getting a much yes. better, a much a, br a broader understanding of where the market is going. Okay, and okay. you know, and always okay. answer. Can that I ask question. you a couple of? Yeah, just one thing. Always ask the question before you take any trade. You know, where is the underlying trend? Very mm. important. If you can't identify an underlying trend you're in you're on dodgy ground okay so you i'm not saying you shouldn't trade but you're, you're on dodgy ground if you if you can't say oh yes this is an uptrend over the last uh, three days say uh, or, or two days or whatever if you can't clearly identify a trend then you're you're in trouble you know choosing that choosing a trade sorry to interrupt you so you a couple of questions yes yes no i that i appreciate that because i think probably this is the biggest issue i've been i haven't been looking back so i okay. think then it's 50 and 50 whatever i've been doing <laughs> so, uh, okay yeah 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 okay fair enough um if you can go back to the pad chart yeah. a couple of questions there yeah. um that i think i have my two biggest questions at the moment so one is one one thing that i observe um while doing the simulations is um for instance if you place a trade there let's say around 11 15 i think was the jumper uh tell me I think where, tell me where to go Sorry, no. If um, I think it was two thirty, the the blue jumper going up to the right. Next one. I think this is after this one is when we would enter, right? Yes, correct. Uh, in this example, so um, one thing that I I, I I did is when the market starts started going up, 
Yeah. Um, and reach the 45, and I and then I see another jump bar going up. So it's like, yes, this is going where it has to go. Yeah. Uh, I moved my stop up. Okay. Uh, perhaps under that jump bar, and then what happened is exactly what happened here. The market goes down, then I'm out, stop out there, and then it goes up like it's doing now. And I say, why the hell did I move my stop in the first place from the original point? Okay. Well, there's another way. To look at this. Well. First off, that's a good that's a good move anyway, the 45 pips. But when you see the market start to go like this, on the, when it flattens out like this, mm. around the 45 pip line, yeah, you know, take profits. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So just take your profits around this line here. At that point, once it's once it starts to do this through here, yeah. this is this is you you can't read anything through here. You you simply don't know. I've been doing this many years, and when this flattens out like this. You know, don't know. When, when you don't know when it when it weakens, you can see it goes yellow, yellow, yellow. So there's less and less and less activity going on in here. Can go in any direction. Yeah, and then the market dri jumps down, but it, again it jumps down without very little interest as well. Okay. Yeah. And then what the market makers are doing here is really they're just picking up more stock. So they're basically taking out the stops. So yes, you're quite correct. You move your stop up through here. Okay, anywhere through here, the market then comes back down. And then stops you out. Now, yes. I want to stop you. I want to, want to want to talk to you just about that. I'm just going to open that up a little bit to make that a little bit a little bit clearer, because this is where you can really learn how to profit. Okay. So you enter the market through here. You go up through here, and you put your stop up, stop loss, and you say you move your stop up here, and you make yourself maybe 10 pips out of it, or 12 pips, or, or whatever. The market comes back down and stops you out. Now a lot of traders here will lick their wounds. Oh God, I've stopped out. Oh, I could have had this much money up here. I, I got stopped out down here. I've only made 10 pips. Oh, now I don't know what the market's going to do. Uh, but, uh, I, I don't know what's going on. What you need to do the moment you are stopped out is you need to think like a market maker. <coughs> why, why were you stopped out? What did people do? What did I do? Okay, so I moved mm. my stop away from here. Okay, how many other people did that? You know that a lot of traders coming in short out, sorry, long out of here, will move their stop up as they go up to locking profits because they're obsessed with locking in profits. Market mm -hmm. makers will know this, and they'll bring the market down. And what do they do? As they bring the market down, look at the increase. They start to pick up the stops, pick up mm -hmm. the stop, pick up more until they've cleaned all the stops out, all the way down here. They do not mm -hmm. want to go down underneath this point here because if they go here, that will break that that upward trend and they don't want to do that okay mm -hmm. I bring the mm -hmm. market back down and then we see what do we see increase jump bar up jump up. and then the market starts to get up another jump bar up and so you need to be thinking okay I was stopped out but why was I stopped out was I stopped out because I got it wrong or was I was I stopped out because the market makers took the market down to clear that stop out Mm -hmm. That's a, a very powerful question for you to have in your mind. The two questions: Why were you stopped out? If you stopped out because you got it wrong, hey, you got it wrong. There's nothing you can do about that. That's part of the trading, is what we do. Mm -hmm. But if you got stopped out because of manipulation, can you now see that that gives you an absolute guarantee, get in there, confidence to continue on and go, go into, into the market again? Okay, mm -hmm. there's a big mm -hmm. difference between the two stop outs. A lot of yeah. traders, amateur traders, will just look at it as a loss. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've lost. You cannot do that. You must say, okay, what happened? Was I stopped out because the market went the wrong way? In this case, you can clearly see no, it didn't go below the, the initial point where the market kicked off. So, therefore, mm -hmm. you were stopped out on manipulation. If you were mm -hmm. stopped out on manipulation, what was the goal of the market makers? To collect more stock. If, mm -hmm. they, if the market makers were collecting more stock, where is the market going to go? In the same direction it was coming before. In the original mm -hmm. direction. Mm -hmm. So now you can look back in the market and say, well, the moment it starts to go back in, the other, in that direction, the original direction, you can enter with confidence mm -hmm. because you know why you got stopped out. So this is where uh, in a lot of the videos I say to people, hey, when you got stopped out, this can be, a cr this can be the most powerful trades that you will ever take. Mm -hmm. Because if you're stopped out on manipulation, you, mm -hmm. you can then increase your lots going up because you know where this market is likely to go to. And then you can see once again, so you can then move your stop, 
Move it. And then, look, all the way. Up. Oh, 90 pips. Okay, it's drifting around now. We're Sunday, you know, we're, well, I'm Monday here. You're, of course, you're Monday now, aren't you, in Australia? Yeah. Of course. So, yep. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I get a lot of Europe calls, and it's like, I'm here Monday, and it's Sunday there, or, uh, you know, or uh -huh. whatever. And uh, it's, 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 it's weird sometimes. I'm looking at the market, yeah. starts to move, and they say, hang on, it's Sunday night. What's going on? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Can I ask my second question? Yes, you there? can. Yeah, far away. Can, can you share Pat again? Yeah. Please. Um, so in this case, you are doing, you are working on a retrace um, of uh, of in this uptrend. So it's it's kind of one of the two scenarios where you would take a trade, right? So this is one, and the other one is as soon as you uh, the profit relic starts. That is not the case here, or because I, I don't see too much the manipulation here. It looks like manipulation was done down there a long time ago, and this whole uptrend is a result of perhaps a bigger profit release. Yeah, and then you have. So uh, this is perhaps where I get confused with the concept because sometimes the, the market is flat and then there, there is accumulation. This, we even get the gray boxes there and then you, we observe some manipulation and the market takes off. And in this case, the, mar the market took off in this big uptrend long time ago. Yeah. And this is what you said before I need to look at the underlying trend. Uh, but then um, it's not just looking at these retraces to the 45. It's actually trying to find another mini cycle of manipulation uh, sorry accumulation manipulation profit release inside uh, like we did before with this jumper right correct um, once you've got the yeah. underlying so you can go and you can go another d day ahead so once you've got the underlying you go ahead and say okay well where's the next where's the next bit of manipulation coming from so in effect you know what what was this down here yeah, manipulation this was this stop. was manipulation you see, yeah. you'd got the underlying trend so you got the underlying trend. So so what was this? Yeah, same. More, the same, well, ju yeah. Just the same manipulation going yeah. through here. Look at the look at the look at the blue. Look at the increase, the activity. Mm -hmm. Look at the activity through here. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the market goes up and takes it. And look at the power coming out of here. Comes down again. But note. Get rid of that. There we go. Mm -hmm. Comes back to hit the point here. Jump yep. bar in and away it goes again. Okay. So these are the things these are the things that you're looking for, you know, all the time when you go, you know, you, you you're coming through here and the market's quite uh, it gets through here, it's a bit of manipulation coming through here. You then see the market start to a bit of a jump bar up, comes back down, okay. Yeah. See the sixteen? Look, there's your retrace, yeah, retrace. tool. So you've already you've already got your underlying trend from three days. You're looking at your uh, uh, accumulation again. The market breaks back out. You're looking for a retrace. You pop on your retrace tool. There we go. There's yeah. your retrace. There's your buy point, and your underlying, and away you go again. And you can do this because you've got the underlying trend. Okay. If you hadn't got the underlying trend, you wouldn't put that tool on there. You you don't use, and you got that from Rick's uh, thing, you don't use any of these tools until you understand what is going on. And then you could start mapping yes. out the market. Then you can look for a retrace. Okay, I know what I'm going to do now. I'm going to I'm going to go long. Um, but I'm not just going to buy the market now. I'm going to look for the retrace. Okay, now I'm going to use my retrace tool, the impact. I'm going to click on that, drag it down, and I'm going to look for the retrace. And that's where I'm going to enter. Boom. In you go. And away, and away you go, but you've got an underlying trend and trend with you. Does Perfect. Okay. Perfect. All right. All right. Um, good. Um, I have a lot of questions, but I, ca I know I cannot make all of them, so I, I will. I will probably. Um, um, I, I will probably focus in in the things I need to do. I, I think, yeah, as you said, I need to to probably keep do, using the simulator to observe all this yep. behavior. Yeah. Um, I, there, there are certain things that amaze me when I when I when I see what happens regularly, like the the these levels, right? Why the 45? Why the 90? Why is it hap Why it happens so often? What what is behind all that? And the same with even with the retrace. Yeah, it's not perfect, but many cases like we have just seen, now, it's happening now. It, it goes back there. Why? Why 16? Yeah. So I have so many questions. Why is happening behind <laughs> the scenes? Like someone is a mastermind, you know? Yeah. 
Uh, no, I understand that. And this is what I said about, the, uh, and a lot of traders do this. They, they look at it, when we start off with Pat, and they, some of them have been doing it for years, and they say, but why? why? How does this work? Why, why, what? And, it, and it blows their mind a little bit because they've just been looking at patterns for so long, but they don't really understand the mechanics of the market. Of every move, you know, there is an underlying core structure of, of what the markets are doing. So you, what you need to do is to, is to also really is forget about those questions. It, you know, you don't care why. Don't focus on the 90, don't focus on the read, don't focus on the why, only focus on the fact that it does it and how you can profit from it. So you're only using the information to profit. So like I said at the beginning with the simulator, once you get on the simulator, your sole purpose of simulation is to make money. That's it. That's mm -hmm. what you've got to do because once you can make money on the simulator consistently, you can go to a live market. Why? Because there is no difference. Mm -hmm. You can do a year's trading on Pat probably in a week. You can train your brain a year's trading in a week. It is unbelievable the power of the simulator. And I don't, and, and, and quite honestly, and not enough Pat users really focus on the simulator enough. They, they, some of them treat, just think it's not real or it, it's not doing anything, but it is. It's, it's programming your mind to recognize the cycles and to give you confidence so that when you then put on the live chart, you don't have, you, you don't have to think Oh, what's this doing? What's going on? You've got so much stuff built up in your mind. You can see what's going on, and you can enter with confidence. And when you can enter with confidence, it takes when the when the fear goes from trading, which is the fear of loss, the fear of getting it right. Mm -hmm. When that disappears, then you will see clarity in the market. You'll look mm -hmm. at a market and you'll understand. But as long as you hold fear of what might be, or that loss that might come, you mm -hmm. will not be reading the market correctly because you'll be with mm -hmm. the 95% who are thinking about, is this trade going to lose? When all yeah. you want to know is, is this cycle going to play out? It, am, have I got this cycle right in the market maker's business model? Yeah, makes sense. Okay. Okay. Well, perfect. Um, so being conscious of the time, Martin, um, yeah. so uh, perhaps the last question for today. Okay. So what, what, how do you see the whole process is? So I know it might depend on you know, each individual and also the time everyone can can put on these, et cetera, et cetera. But I'm not necessarily thinking in when I can go like trade. I, I know I have to first get it right, understand a lot of things and learn. Um, but my, my question is more around, you know, um, you have you must have seen so far a lot of successful traders, I would say, learning out of these and others perhaps that gave up or so where do, do you think I, need, I don't need to end up caught. Okay. okay. So w w where you, you can get I mean? where you can get caught. Okay. You mm. will get caught if you start trading before you understand what is going on. That's where you'll mm -hmm. get caught, and you will. And that's a very yeah. difficult place to get out from, to escape from. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the fear so, increases. And the reason you will get caught is because you haven't done enough simulations. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. You need to do simulations until there is there is a, there is, a, there is a, the, until the transition mental the mental transition from simulation to live is nothing they are the same yeah. when the simulate because they are the same mm -hmm. okay? but when your when your mind says it's the same mm -hmm. your mind will have no fear you don't have any fear while you're on the simulator do you um no but sometimes I, I feel like I need to get it right because if I get it right now, I would have right in the future. Yeah. So I that's, that, somehow that, still feel a little okay. bit of fear. That's like a, if it yeah. was like... That's okay. That's <laughs> learning. That's, that's learning. Yeah. You're learning something new. But you wouldn't want to go and put on a live chart and say, oh, I wonder mm. what's happening oh, yeah. here. I wonder what's going on here. You need to be able to transition between the two. And often I will say to people, um, you know, when you go live trading, you, so, you, so in the morning, say you, you know, and don't you don't going to say I'm going live on Monday. I hear a lot of that. I'm going to live trade on Monday. I say no, you're not. You're going to live trade if something comes up to make a live trade. You're not going to trade just because it's Monday, or Tuesday, or Wednesday. You know when you start. You you are not going to dictate when you start trading. Okay, the, what's going to dictate when you are trading is when the profit release is coming into, and you spot that, and then you're going to uh, go to your live trading. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, and even when you say, okay, I'm going to live trading, that's not the end of the simulation. When you turn on the chart in the, in the morning, run, run through a simulation right up to, obviously, where the live chart is. So, so get the history. 
re read it up to there. Mm -hmm. Say, okay, well, I can clearly identify from this. There, there is a, you know, there's a, a trend here, and and now yep. you're into the live market from the very very next bar, and if you get lost at any point, run another simulation and let it come right up to the beginning of the market where where the market is. Okay, you that's how mm -hmm. you use the tool. No yeah. distinction. In the brain, there should be no distinction between a simulation and the live market. Yeah. I'll leave you Perfect. with that thought. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I, so any other questions yeah. you've got, what I want you to, you know, if you, by all means, just send them over on a ticket and I'll answer those and stuff like that. But we want to use our coaching sessions for really the powerful ends of this. We don't want to answer, uh, you know, questions. I know you've got questions, but put any questions that can be asked on text, just send them over on um, on support, and I'll get and I'll get back to you on those. But yeah. the coaching sessions are about getting you making money. Uh, it's different on the first one because you know we've got things to go through. But the next coaching yeah. call we want we want to have, think about it. Really yes. think about what you want from that call. Call these are the points, and you might even want to narrow it down to three points. There are these are the points we're going to focus on this call because now I'm at this stage, and I want to go to this stage or whatever. So we can really drill down and focus on uh, on, on uh, that session, as it were. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. That makes sense. All Excellent. Right. Thank you. Is is there a way I can rewatch this? The recording later? Yes, there will um, be a recording. Um, it is recording. Yeah, and I shall put it up and uh, like where I had it'll be in the. Um, I'll put it on the uh, group page so you can go there and watch that and go through and uh, other people can learn from it as well. And that's the great power of these sessions. You know, people learn. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not, sure. I, I not. I'm not quite sure. I got access to all the places where I probably should have got access, Martin. That's uh, something I'm not quite sure because I, I in the in the training page yeah. after I log in, I can see the the videos. Uh, but um, so, I think sometimes you refer to a forum and then you explain that the, the forum is not working any longer. But I'm not quite sure. I got access to I'll all these videos I'll, from I'll our people. I'll check on that now. I'll go as soon as that call's ended. I'll go and check your permissions and make sure you got access to everything. Okay, excellent. Well, I do appreciate I do appreciate your time. I think uh, I have something to work with work with now. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Lovely. All right. <laughs> well, take care. Have a great day, and uh, we'll catch up with you very soon. Okay. You, same. Likewise. All right. Take it was a care. pleasure. Cheers. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you. Okay, well, that was Adrian's uh, first coaching call. Uh, you can see we had a lot of questions to go through. We ran over time a little bit on there. That's not a real problem. Uh, the 45 minutes for any coaching call is really just to keep, try and get, you know, keep things tight, as it were, so we don't wander off into different things. The first coaching call is always a little bit like that. There's a lot of questions that a new student, you know, let's watch Adrian's progress, see how he gets on. I'm very excited for him. I already know he's doing great work, and he's very committed to that simulator. He's very committed to what he's going to do. So. Um, Without further ado, I'm going to get off, have a great day, and I'll catch up with you very soon. Take care. And just before we close down, don't forget, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and also click on the notification bell.